Hey everybody, it's Dad and Ben. D and B cards here, and today is Mail Day Friday. Mail Day Friday, and if you've been following us the last few Mail Day Fridays, what we've decided to do is take mail acquired from the week. But I put it together into a super pack, and I give Ben the option to uh, crack or open. These are all cards that were picked up on breaks or mail, and uh, basically put together in one super pack. And then uh, I look, I, they're all usually top loaded, in which case then I'll let Ben crack into it and uh, present the cards that we picked up over the last week or so. Yep, so let's do this. As some of these cards, or most of these cards, are acquired during breaks, um, there's sometimes opportunities, ones that we are looking for, but more often than not, it's ones that uh, team randoms, things like that, that I get. Uh, some decent hits here and there, and uh, other than that, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here, Ben. Starting off with a, oh, we got a, yeah, Ultimate Breaks, of course. Uh, ultimate Jersey, Ultimate Rookies, Tyler Benson at a 649. And then we got a Michael McNiven, Ultimate Rookies at a 299 for the Montreal Canadiens. We have a Ty Smith with the Devils, Ultimate Rookies Jersey, 649. Here's an ultimate access out of 135 at David Perron, playing for the St. Louis Blues. Who who won who lost game one but won game two. And I think David Perron got a goal in game two. Boo! <laughs> nice card though, jersey and an uh, uh, on card auto. It's another ultimate rookie's jersey of Keandre Miller, who's also playing with the Rangers, and they're having good playoffs. Nice three color patch there. You don't usually see those on the rookie patches or on the ultimate rookie patches at a 649, but got lucky there. As you can see, uh, this was picked up from Pastime Breaks out of BC. Alternate introductions. Jason Robertson had a great second year this year. Uh, great rookie card to have. Uh, wish it was autoed, but that's what I got. Oh, this is a cool one, Ben. These are ultimate masterpieces, I believe, is what they're called. Signature masterpieces. Peter Bondra, uh, retired player, played back when I was your age, Ben. He was he was a player in the NHL when I was like was nine or ten good? years old. Was he good? Yeah, he was probably the best Washington Capital player at the time. Oh my god! And now he obviously been supplanted by Alexander Ovechkin, but uh, definitely a well-respected player in the league. There's a out of. 25, I believe, yeah, uh, Alexander Alexiev. Not sure what he's amounting to, if anything, but uh, definitely got high hopes for him. Ah, yes, and this is a nice pickup, too. Uh, Nils Hoglander at a 49 rookie patch auto. Um, these Paramount patches are nice. Um, they come in different parallels. I think the, you can get up to 99 is the highest parallel. This is... Uh, the second one down, I believe there's one more down, maybe that's at a 25, but this is a good pick. Uh, if Hoglander can really turn it on next year, value will be really good on this card. And our last yeah. one is an RPA of Giannis Johansson with Buffalo Sabres. Real nice patch on that one, what do you think, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, that's a four color patch there. Uh, different colors, shades of blue there. But that's a great little pickup there as well. Um, lots of ultimate breaks. Ultimates being broke everywhere. Yeah, no, no Colorado cards this way. No Colorado cards this way, but I assure you, some are coming. They're just not here yet. So, we just went with what we have at the time. But definitely some new ones to add to the collection. Obviously ones that we're looking to possibly trade or sell as well. Uh, in which case then we can make those acquisitions or buy into more breaks and try to get those Colorado teams. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is team random, so I don't get to pick my team. I just get to buy uh -huh. a spot and uh, hope hope to get Colorado. Because a lot of times, too, Colorado has so many good players that their team is really high valued. So if they do a team select where you pay for the team, you'll pay like a lot more just to buy Colorado with the chance of not even getting a Colorado player. So sometimes team random is a little cheaper way to go about the break. And if you get lucky, you get a great team like Colorado or Ottawa or... Um, uh, you know, Minnesota Rangers, stuff, stuff like that. If not, then sometimes you'll or, get St. Or, Louis or New Jersey. Or, tw or 2015-2016 series one young guns, Connor McDavid. Yeah, I don't know they're not breaking that one too much, but I think it gets broken here and there. But uh, yeah, so that's what we got today for Mail Day Friday. Um, up next would be 7-Pack Sunday. 
Yeah. In which case, we got a few more packs loaded up there, so we'll do another uh, D and B cards yeah. seven pack random box, and I'll I'll do that for Ben to break open, and uh, we hope to have a good seven pack Sunday, and maybe see what we can pull there. Maybe get some Colorado players that are fresh out of the pack for us. Yeah. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope everybody had a great week and are have good plans for the weekend. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys on Sunday. Please Bye. like and subscribe and if you haven't. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.